verdict is. Have you ever seen those DIY t-shirt videos and wonder if you can do that at home? Well, today I plan to show you step by step how I followed the DIY videos and what happened. Be sure to watch the video till the end so you can see what happened to my t-shirt after a week. And I will be using the following today and you can find this in your kitchen easily a plastic saran wrap scissors from your stationery box make sure your uh, printer has ink I'll just be using black and white today I ordered mine off of Amazon and then a parchment paper and also a t-shirt let's see how this material holds I have my text ready that I'd like to print on my t-shirt. And my printer is set up. Let's go ahead and click print. No fancy settings this time. And I'm gonna do black and white. And I only want full side of slide three. Let's do this. Just using regular paper over here, nothing fancy. Okay, that did not print. Okay, finally it looks like it's doing something good. And here we go. Okay, so we have a little bit of a problem. It did not print all the way. The hearts didn't print, so um, I'm gonna have to change the settings, but I can go ahead and get started on this. As you can see, I still have to clean up my edges and also get rid of what's inside. So I don't have an X-Acto knife or anything, but I'm just gonna use this, this bit right here. Let's see how long it takes me to cut one letter. That is okay as you can see I have successfully cut out the letter D this is a lot of work so I don't recommend anyone to do this at home manually but if you're just doing it as a hobby go for it first we need some saran wrap I love these edges And arrange your shirt the way you like. I'm actually going to do it one at a time. Take some scissors. I'm 
cutting these out is so that so you don't end up with something like this. The final step is placement. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my 100% cotton t-shirt on my heat press. I've just turned on my heat press. I'm going to actually press the shirt also because it helps with the moisture. So next I'll go ahead and place my letters on my t-shirt. I want to make sure that they are placed properly. You can use a ruler if you'd like. Some people also tape the letters. After lettering, after placing your letters, go ahead and put a parchment paper on top. You will probably iron for a little bit longer. If you're using a heat press, I would say 15 seconds to 20 seconds for 345 degrees should be plenty of time. I tried doing just two letters at first to see how it turns out. Let's peel the parchment paper off to see if the letters are glued to my t-shirt. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and set up the rest of the letters. I had to move my t-shirt up because my heat press is not big enough um, for a large t-shirt. t-shirt is ready here is the final product looks pretty decent but guess what so final verdict is I would say don't even bother with the saran wrap technique because I tried to use about a week ago and the letters are just coming off right now I'm sorry, but the saran wrap technique does not work. I even used a heat press instead of an iron and it still did not last. So if you're just looking for something for a couple of hours, then sure, waste your time cutting these letters up and spending hours making this t-shirt, but it's not sustainable. Here's another t-shirt that I tried doing this on. So I tried this a few times and and each time the result was exactly the same. The letters, the pictures, they all come off within a few hours. Here is another one of my disasters. In my next video, I'm going to use the heat transfer paper. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell next to it so you don't miss any of my updates. My name is Arfa and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Have a wonderful day. Bye!